In this video, we're going to be discussing what is Ruby on Rails used for? So you may have heard of Ruby on Rails and we talk about it quite a lot on this channel, but what is it used for and when is the best time to use Ruby on Rails? So before we start into this video, I just wanna remind you guys, if you enjoy this type of content to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. So today we're going to be discussing when should you use Ruby on Rails and what is it used for? Ruby on Rails is a framework that is built on top of the Ruby programming language. So Ruby is the language that is behind Ruby on Rails. So let's begin with what is Ruby on Rails used for? So Ruby on Rails is used to build web applications. An example of a web application is a platform like Twitter or maybe even a platform like Reddit or Instagram. So in most cases, when we talk about a web application, we're talking about something where the user can interact with the platform. So maybe it's a website where they can sign up and share their photos or interact with friends. There are many types of web applications that you can build with Ruby on Rails, but it is good to think of Ruby on Rails being a framework. So Ruby on Rails is a framework that has a lot of the tools and functionality already in place. So they come pre-installed out of the box. So it saves developers a lot of time. A lot of the features that you want to build can be done quite easily using Ruby gems. So gems are functionality that has been pre-written by someone else, a different developer. So you can use gems within your application and it will save you development time. It will make it easier to build features that have very common functionality. So there are many times when Rails is a great fit for your project. Generally from my own experience, anytime I have to do something that requires users to create an account or to uh, post information or like or share something. So any kind of functionality like that, I normally turn to a platform like Ruby and Rails as it will save me a lot of development time. And quite often I think that that is the way you should approach it. If it can save you a lot of time, then it is probably a good fit for what you're trying to do. There really is no sense in writing code that has been written dozens of times before. So if someone's already built a login system, a sign up system, um, a general authentication system for your users, then it doesn't really make sense to write a new one from scratch. It makes more sense to use a gem or a piece of code that already exists. And that's why I use Ruby on Rails for a lot of my projects. So if you can use a framework that saves you a lot of time as a developer, then I think it's a great option to choose for that project. And that's why I've used Ruby on Rails for many different projects in the past. So that covers some of the reasons why you might want to use Ruby on Rails, but let's look at reasons why you might not want to use it. So let's just try to consider it from a different perspective. So normally I would advise people to choose the best tool for the job. So it depends on what your objective is for that project or for that website whether Ruby on Rails is a good fit for this project or not. There are some cases that you may want to use something other than Ruby on Rails. An example of this would be that if you're just building a static website, so maybe it's a portfolio website, uh, four or five pages, maybe you have an about page, contact page. So this kind of website really is not requiring a platform like Ruby on Rails. In the case where you're building a static website or perhaps even a blog, um, there are probably tools that are just much better suited to that kind of project rather than using Ruby on Rails. So ultimately it comes down to what is the objective of this project. For simple projects, it really doesn't make sense to use Ruby on Rails because it's really overkill in that scenario. But when you are building a larger project with uh, different user types and different um, dashboards for those users or different objectives for those users, then it makes more sense to use a framework like Ruby on Rails. But for static websites and blogs, there are better platforms out there more suited to what you're trying to achieve in that project. So that's about it for this video. I just want to create a very quick video to explain when you should use Ruby on Rails and when you should use something else. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.